Well, guys, it's Monday night again. <laughs> here, I'm, for some reason, I'm on Dell. I'm talking away and nobody's seeing me. Now, here, we got to figure that one out. Uh, spotlight video. There I am. Okay. There you are. Yeah. So, <clears throat> no, there's just been a ton of revelation lately and backing up about two weeks after the whole thing with um, the Firestones, um, the Lord dropped me into the trading floors again. And this is something he showed me a couple years ago, and I couldn't explain it well at that time. And um, this is expanded revelation on trading floors and how to do them. So what I'd like to do first is give you a diagram of what I wandered through. And it's the best way I could lay out what I wandered through with the Lord. Um, this is about, I don't know, nine hours of experience wrapped up in one spreadsheet. So I'm going to share screen. Can everybody see this okay? Yes, we're nodding our heads. Okay, so <clears throat> the, I've always been a big advocate of trading. Um, maybe because I worked in business for so many years. <clears throat> I've done a ton of um, trading in my spiritual life. Um, it's as important to me as legislation and declaration. So a couple of weeks ago, the Lord started showing me places in my um, ascended in the kingdom where there was more than one trading floor. Um, I found one around my seat of rest. Uh, oh, let me back up here. So the, across the top, it says places and trading floors may be found. Um, I don't know how many trading floors people have. They may just have one. They may have six. <clears throat> but this is what I found for myself. So I found one around my seat of rest. That one was really pretty. There actually were gemstones in the floor. Um, there can be a trading floor in your personal throne room. A lot of people don't know they have personal throne rooms, but you do. Um, personal mountain, the dance floor. You may have a trading floor in your heart garden. Your gates, your spirit, soul, and body gates. There may be trading floors there. Um, you may find a trading floor in the temple of the Lord. Public, there are public and private trading floors, the kingdom courts, the chancellor's court, uh, the throne room, the sea of glass, the cross. A lot of people go to the um, sea of glass and do a lot of trading there. I do most of healing sessions on the sea of glass. So I wandered around and looked at all these places. Oh, I got to tell you one more. Um, someone just recently, I was with them in their throne room, and their trading floor had a seal in it. I thought that was so cool. So they're not all just plain. Um, they can be very ornate. But if you think of a true trading floor, Wall Street's a trading floor. It gives you a, a visual in your mind of stuff coming and going because of trades. Now, from there, what I saw were seven areas, uh, classification, categories, whatever you want to call them, that you bring to the trading floor. There's no... First, second, third, fourth. One is not more important than the other. It's just areas of your life. So self. We trade for our identity or into our identity, our purpose. Um, salvation is a trade. Life and salvation, eternal life. Authority, our finances. How many people have done a negative trade on their finances? That was a big thing for me to learn. Our legacy, 
um, our future generations. We can trade into that. If you've ever done any um, issues with prayers of iniquity, you're trading into your future generations. Your reputation, love, health, those are all issues of self, and there may be more. I'm just giving you some examples. And then faith. Believe it or not, if we desire supernatural activity, things like seeing in the spirit, hearing in the spirit, traveling in the spirit, uh, translocation, bending time, you're trading to get to do that. Ties and offering, big form of trading. The gifts of the spirit, trials and suffering. Um, I really should learn how to spell spouse. I should have changed that before I got in here. But okay, everybody, spouse is spelled wrong. Um, career. We, 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 it takes faith to enter into your career, especially if God calls you to something that doesn't make very much money. You will find that um, it takes real faith to step into that and believe God for his provision. Wisdom and understanding is another area. So that can be your education. That can be your spiritual education. That can be revelation, dreams, visions. It can be passive listening and no activation. Or it can be active listen, listening and activation. Another area that I've seen a lot of trading, <clears throat> and I've done a lot of trading in my life, is relationships. Your family, the person you're dating, your marriage, your co-workers, your faith community, and again, your spouse. Still spelled wrong. Um, another area... One of the first ones I think the Lord ever showed me was commerce gain. Um, so, because I worked in business so much of my life, that's a significant trading floor. And that's the obvious. When you're teaching someone about trading, somebody gives money for a product. Um, a business owner buys inventory and then trades it for profit. But those are just the simplest forms of trading I can think of. So shopping's trading. Taxes. I think taxes is a huge one because we're so tempted to cheat on them. Uh, again, the stock market. And again, giving. And you can see that some of the area, some of the items are in more than one area. Depends on how you're using it. Are you... Um, um, are you doing taxes for your personal life or are you doing taxes for kingdom government and governmental work? So that the next one is government and you see taxes again. Government can be the police uh, cooperating with or running from government officials, the earthly courts, kingdom courts, benches, chancellors. Authority over people or regions, leadership. Those are all government issues that you can trade into either negatively or positively. So the last area I found was creation. Now that's the creation that God calls us to do. So music, writing, visual arts, baking, gardening, having children. Those are all forms of creating. You know you're a son of God if you create. <clears throat> when you really receive your call as a son of God, there's an urge in you for some form of creation, believe it or not. So I put down here in a little box, review your trades. So that's basically the next thing. So we're going to come back up. On the one side, we have the godly um, spirits and things we can bring to trading or the demonic. But the godly is love, God's presence, his peace, shalom, uh, great kabod or kabod, however you say it, grace, praise, um, accolades, 
seven spirits of God, compassion, the archangels. You can bring God himself for Jesus or Holy Spirit. You can bring the seraphim, the cherubim, men in white linen, judges, spiritual parents, the cloud of witnesses. Um, and these are just a few. You, you don't know. Remember that whatever we do is via um, the inclination and our relationship with the Lord. You don't know who or what's going to show up. Um, I was dealing with somebody just recently that was working on a trade, <clears throat> and I thought Father God would show up. And who showed up was the guy's dad. But see, the guy's dad was a representation of Father, Father God. He, the love relationship there was as good as he could imagine a love relationship with Father God. So his father showing up was a symbol of God for him. It was, it was pretty cool. Anyway, the demonic, there are the demonic kings, and there's a lot of them, and I only listed a few. Many times demonic kings have a kingdom also. But Tyre, which is false commerce, Jezebel, which is control and manipulation, Athaliah, stealing kingly seed, Cain, murder, um, Queen of Heaven, Delilah, Leviathan, which is a uh, twisted communication, Apollyon, Amalek, fear, Antichrist, Baal, um, counterfeit um, archangels. You can bring Haiti, it's Hades itself, to the trading floor. Um, I imagine you could bring the Nephilim to the trading floor if you wanted to. So I, I gave um, an example earlier. I will try and state a different one than the one I gave. I talked to you about um, my personal mountain. So this is crazy. The, I went to my heart garden. And I found a trading floor, and it, it was this beautiful patio. The kind, when, when I was a child, my Aunt Pat and Uncle Roy had this estate, and away from the house, you had to follow this little path, and away from the house was this beautiful patio with a fire pit in the center and benches all the way around. And I landed on that trading floor, and I thought, why am I here? And believe it or not, the Lord says to me, government, I'm thinking, what? In my personal garden, government? And I, I sat there for a while, and I went, oh, I'm called to global government. I'm called to kingdom government. So... I'm like, still, okay, well, the issue is government in my personal heart. I think that, that would be, logically, that would be, you know, at my seat of rest or in the throne room. I'm like, I don't get this. And that time I had to just sit there and wait for a while. And finally... Um, he was said to me that, believe it or not, it was over stinking attitudes towards earthly government and having to pay taxes and thinking that the, the tax situation was unfair um, for a little semi-retired person. Um, I don't want to pay the taxes we got to pay. And the Lord said, the reason we're doing a government issue is not because you're called to government. It's because you have a heart issue in your heart garden over taxes. And I went, oh, Lord. And he said, who's standing on this trading floor with you? I said, Tyre. He said, why is Tyre standing there? Because I don't want to do what the, what the earthly government says is fair. He said, exactly. And I quick did 
uh, renouncing and repenting. And I didn't have to do anything. The tire just dematerialized. And, and I said, so now that tire's gone, where does my trading lie on this floor? And the Lord said, in the spirit of the fear of the Lord. That makes sense. That makes total sense. Because if I'm submitting to his authority and I'm believing he's taking care of me, then I'm going to accept that authority and sit within the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And so the spirit of the fear of the Lord is still hanging out there in my heart garden. <laughs> And I, I think I'm going to build a relationship. <laughs> but that's just to give you um, an example. And I've talked way too long. Anybody got, I asked earlier before we started the recording, if this made sense. Anybody got any revelation or any two cents worth to throw into this? I think this is a good place that I can take you back to my little story. Because I think I told I don't know if it was you Anna or the rest of the group one of the things that I've been doing is going onto my personal mountain going into um, the first love gate and then from that position doing the yod hey vav hey in each uh, I do it you know I get on my seat of rest I see myself in that place of rest then I do the yod hey vav hey there and then as, as Sue shared earlier, we both have that revelation of, you know, that um, uh, our first love gate sits at the top of our mountain in our seat of rest, and we're, that's where we are. So I do the yod hey vav hey there, and then I go in, let that flow into the spirit gates. And then when I get into the soul gates, like this morning, for example, I'm sitting there and I'm doing it, and I'm was like okay I need to take care of something here and right then and there I realized okay I have fear of the finances I have fear of some of these other things because as you all know the whole moving situation is you know it tends to cost money to deal with that and so I had to right there in that in the, in the soul gates I traded fear for love and faith Right there. So that's an example of doing it in my soul gates. And I guess I really hadn't thought about, you know, as you pointed it out, all the different trading places. I just happen to trade wherever I happen to be. As soon as I realized that, oh, I beefed up or I, I did this wrong, I made this choice, da 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 da, then I just stopped right where I am. It doesn't matter where I am, I'll, I'll take care of the trade. And so that's really cool to see you put that all out um, because we really can trade anywhere. We can be in the middle of an experience and all of a sudden, bam, we, we trade something. So the trading floor is where you are. To me, doesn't that sound about right? There's my I team. agree. I agree, Dell, totally 100% because there are times when I'm in the middle of something and all of a sudden the Holy Spirit gives that Shazam at that one point. Ah, I've traded. Okay, Lord, how have I traded? You're trying to show me something. Well, I've made a choice. <laughs> I'm in my choice gate and my emotion gate. And what did I trade? Ah, either it's usually it's either tire or what was the other one? Well, at least it's tire a lot of times because it's like goods or whatever. Did I really need this? No, I didn't. Why did I do it? It was emotional trade. I'm sorry. So it's a lot of renunciation and repenting. But also, it's a good tool. This is so good, Anna, because it's such a good tool to get to the different roots of different issues that we have in our lives. You know, going back through, looking at the trading floors, um, and whether they're private or public, and then going through when you're led, when Holy Spirit goes kazinga, um, you can take that tool that you've just given us um, and go, oh, yeah, okay, okay. We can, we can take care of this right now and keep short accounts. Like, my, you know, my 
Parsons is always saying, keep short accounts. And um, it's very helpful because then you don't have a lot of stuff um, to go back on. So thank you for doing all of that. That's good. Well, I'm just really in it. I mean, it, I just share my wanderings, you know. Um, something you, you said, Sue, triggered something in me. The, one of the things I realized is, <clears throat> like, you can kick, um, you can have tire removed from the government area and have it somewhere else. Um, and, like, giving. You could, you could have tire removed from governmental issues and still have an issue with tire in giving. Um, so don't assume that if he's been kicked out of one part of your life, he's out of all of your life. It's kind of like the thing with Leviathan. Leviathan has seven heads because you've gotten rid of one head. Doesn't mean you've gotten rid of all of Leviathan. That was one of the things that was really interesting to me. Um, anybody else got something to share? No, this is just uh, very encouraging because it had not made enough sense for me to just kind of like jump in and this sounds easier. Yeah. I, I just, uh, I just hope this really blesses people. Um, okay. So. I have one more little thing, Anna. Oh, go for it. My darling, I will mute me. Yeah, I'll do mute me. Uh, <laughs> um, one of the things, you know, we've heard a lot of teaching on this and I think what we're, Theme here is just an expansion because you know I've heard Ian Clayton and Mike Parsons both say go get your own revelation you know we have a starting point that says here is the basic thing then you go find your own revelation and then walk that out and then as we have that revelation we share it with others so that's exactly what we're doing because if we don't go and experience this stuff and do it ourselves then it's going to be really hard to work with others and show others where we are. So we all have a starting point, but then we're responsible for taking that and then, and then doing it in our own lives. So and it, it's just how it works with everything, not just trading. So that's my last two bits, two bits, three bits. Six bits a dollar. All the others stand up and hear yeah, yeah. Um, uh, well, I, I said that, you know, before the video started that I could just see Sue running off with this. And in my mind, I didn't tell you that, but because she is the, the, she is the gate, trading gates and mountains expert. I could see a year down the road and her sharing something and me going, huh? Boy, the Lord really expanded that. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> And her going, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, see, from there you went to this. And anyway, um, okay. So I thought, it, you know, we're really big on activations and um, doing it helps solidify it within us. So my thought was to go on one of our adventures. You want to go on an adventure, you guys? Woohoo, adventure done. Okay. So. What I thought was we would ascend and um, have the Lord show you a trading floor. And I'm trying to put on some music for my own sake here, so I'm doing two things at once. Anyway, and, and then one you know me, steps. One, find a trading floor. Two, see who's on that trading floor with you, whether and, and see if it's negative or positive um, trading. And then see if you have to have somebody removed and add somebody new. So, but to help people watching this, I thought we'd do it in steps. So the first one would be, Let's ascend, go find a trading floor. And when you found a trading floor, give me a high sign. And I think I'll put it on gallery view so people can see all of us right now. Tribbles. 
What and music are you putting on so we can? If I've ready? got transformation playing. Can you hear it? No, so I'll put it on transformation. From yeah, for some reason, whenever I do it, it doesn't play through the system. Um, and so feel free to go find a trading floor, spend a little time there, and um, here in five minutes or so or whatever, when I see people giving me a high sign, we'll share what trading floor we found.
<clears throat> well, I think everybody but Mr. Levi has stirred some. <clears throat> of course, then again, you know, with Levi, the the Lord ta Father takes him places we never get to go. He can be off and gone. <laughs> um, and now he's looking at me, so I guess I better be quiet. No, anyway. Um, where, where did you find yourself? In my throne room. Which I have never been. So that was an interesting experience. It's um, rather large, uh, uh, dusty, um, and there were things that were misplaced or missing, apparently. And I'm thinking, what? So, yeah, that's where I was. So on that note, let me fill in just a pinch. A lot of people don't know they have a throne room. But if you mature to the level of kinship, you've got a diadem, you're wearing robes, you've got a scepter and an orb, you must have a throne room somewhere. A lot of people don't know that. The thing is about your throne room is it will have visiting dignitaries, um, your lineage, your future generations, maybe your past generations, um, supporting angels and spirits, and then you may find the men in white linen, linen and cloud of witnesses and people like from the Court of the Fathers there. Um, and I have found that is, it is a place to decree legislation. Um, you know, like a king does. Um, a king, somebody comes to the king with the issue and the king makes a decree from, from this day forward, all children over the age of two will go to preschool. You know, the king puts out a decree and then the scribes and the lawmakers and everybody carries it out. And um, I mean, we know from listening to Mike Parson, there's volumes of legislation that needs to be done to bring about God's plan. So that's a side note. Would anybody else like to share where they found themselves? First, the love gate. Still got some stuff I need to clean up there. But yeah, that's a trading place. You, I was in... Um, my hair garden under the Camperdown elm tree, which is um, a tree that I planted in my hair garden a long time ago. We had some business to take care of, um, some negative trading that happened right before the call tonight. So I took care of that. So um, I found myself in the Lord's garden um, and a bit convicted. He said, I hadn't been there to do any trading in a long time. And I'm like, no. Mm. And so then I was all excited to be there. And I'm like, okay, so uh, can I go play in the water? water? while we wait for me no that's a form of trading well uh can i plant something no that's a form of trading you just i just want you to stand here and wait like a five-year-old <laughs> so i'm standing there waiting well i'm going to add i think it's interesting that when we trade you know, because, again, I was trading, you know, a fear. And then, okay, well, I'm going to trade that. And then it was uh, a trading for provision. Well, it's not just provision in general, but provision specifically. Provision of creative for creative ideas. Provision for um, 
how things are going to look in the future. Provision for, you know, regular daily finances. Provision, you know, we think of provision as money, but it's not just money. It's provision in all kinds of ways. I mean, you can have provision in, you know, finding something new to do in your business that brings you more business. Those kinds of things, creative ideas, you know. So, oh, yeah, creative strategy was another one. All of those things can go into that. And so when I was sitting there trading, I'm seeing all these things, and I'm like, oh, it's, it's more than just the word provision. It's provision in all of these other areas. And we don't necessarily always think about that, too. So I just thought I would add that little tidbit. You're muted, Anna. Did you say something? No, not really. But um, if nobody else wants to share, shall we go on? Or does anybody else want to share? Well, I did find myself at the, um, I don't know where in the heart garden exactly, in the garden part. Um, the, the trading is as, uh, uh, I realized that I feel like I've been procrastinating and it's um, I'm not getting anything done and I was just kind of stuck with what to do with that there so. he was going to work me through it <laughs> Okay, well, if that be the case, then shall we go back in and take a look at negative or positive trading and what's going on on that floor? Yes. Okay.
Okay. Um, I, I, got, I got to go first because it was so cool. Sorry, guys. So <clears throat> there I am standing in the middle of this floor in his garden. Um, <clears throat> and he says to me, you, you've been asking for deeper revelation and a stronger understanding of more of my love. And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, what are you going to do about it? What? <laughs> and he goes, um, scripture says, um, uh, you loved, you loved him because he first loved, we loved him because he first loved us. And he goes, you have all the love I could ever possibly give you. And you're asking for more. Don't you realize that this is a form of trading? What, what are you going to do? Uh, oh, so the manifestation lies in the trading. So I just, I love, one of my favorite flowers is peonies. And I just bought a new peony plant today. And uh, I look over by the riverbank and here's all, there's a peony garden. And I went over and watered the peonies and I thought, this is crazy. He can water his own flowers. <clears throat> and the Lord says, and yeah, Jesus could have oiled his hair himself too. Oh, I get it. It's, it's in the care, not in the fact that you can do it for yourself. And then I'm looking around going, what else could I do? What else could I do? And I, the grass is a little too long. I'm looking at the grass, not thinking. And I went, oh, mow the lawn. So I ran around, mow the lawn. And with one of those old-fashioned rotary mowers, you know, and uh, I get done, and I kick my shoes off and go over and sit down in the middle of the trading floor with um, a sensor pot, a bronze sensor pot, and coals and essential oils, and I'm dumping the oils on, sending a fragrance up, and I went, I just want to tell you that I love you. And he started to chuckle. He just chuckled <laughs> like you silly girl. <laughs> um, but I just did a form of trading that would have never dawned on me. It was really cool. Anyway, so that was my little experience. Anybody else? Anna, what did you say about the manifestation? The trading floor was a manifestation of what? You just said it, and I, you said it so fast. Of his love. Okay. Because I wasn't going to lose it, but you went too yeah, fast. I, I just, okay. I, I, I wanted yeah, more. There. Yeah, I wanted more of yeah. his love. Yeah. Cool, thank you. I have a seal in my throne room now where there was a blank seal. I have a seal. Now, this probably doesn't, I, I pondered on this because I'm not like, I'm, yeah. This is the tree of life. That is the scales of justice. And that is the heart of God. Not a very good picture, but. It gives you the idea. The scale of justice is within the tree of life. And mm -hmm. God's heart is at the base or the foundation of all of it. And I just looked at that and I cried. <laughs> For the whole time. Because this is my kingship and sonship. This is where it lies. Mm. That was amazing. And I had been believing lies. And so we talked about that for a while. And when all was said and done, I said, I just want wisdom in order to carry out what he wants me to do. And um, he goes, really, wisdom? I said, yeah, because I've been using a lot of human wisdom rather than yours. I said, you know what? I would want to be wise like Solomon. And how 
I deal with things, whether it's kingdom or here. And he just sat there and smiled. He goes, really? And I go, well, yeah, because it's part of your heart, right? And he just smiled again. And uh, he said, I want you to see something. Look on your floor. So I did. And I, it was like um, invisible ink uh, becoming visible. I don't know how to explain it, but that's the best way I can. Full colors of the green and, and the red for the heart. And justice was silver and gold. So, yeah, I just went, ha. Ah. That was a discovery. I, yeah, I'd never been in my throne room. So, cool. Now I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> <clears throat> discovery, more discovery. Yay. He was happy when I asked for wisdom, by the way. I got a song. Go figure. You remember this? There in the eighties, there was a song that I, I'm gonna have to sing it. I, so forgive me. It goes. He did not bring us out this far to take us back again. You know that song? Okay. We used to sing that in church all the time, and then we get really excited and dance around. Though there may be giants in the land, I will not be afraid. You know how the song goes like that? And I'm like, you know, sometimes at the very end of something where it looks like, ah, is this ever going to happen? Ah, you know, I mean, those are the times. And so he's just reminded me of that. I've known of this move for seven years. But sometimes, like right when you're at the end and it's looking like all of this crazy stuff, you just need to be reminded that he did not bring us this far to take us back again. And so we were singing that song together. You were asking about uh, negative trading floors. Um, all night, I haven't been able to find a single trading floor. But I have found some very negative stuff that I trade everywhere, all the time. And it's called fear. That's my most prevalent uh, negative trade in many, many areas of my life, my father and I. We work on it, you know, that's the reason why I have the crown of thorns, and that's the reason why um, I have the gift of walking on water, and th those sorts of things. So it isn't just um, one, two, three places, it's in many, many places in the uh, categories that you showed us earlier. And the good news is that um, I know that healing is coming because healing's happening. And that the newest gift is to simply say yes. And what that means is if I will simply say yes, I give my permission for Beloved to do the wonderful things that he does. <clears throat> Uh, in my life because oh, I'll just take health for example um, I recently discovered that I've been doing DIY health I've been doing it on my own strength that's foolish bad trade so um, uh, fear is the tra is the trade thing that uh, he and I are working on the most and it's on on many floors many places and the reason I'm smiling is that is so cool because if you can identify it, you can take care of it. And I guess that's why um, I've been encouraged when people bring their, you know, because some of us have had health issues for a long time and we haven't been able to put our finger on it. And if you can identify it, you can take care of it. And 
and then the other thing is is you know dr caroline leaf the, the mris of the brain the opposite of love is fear not hatred fear and and if you you know if you see that fear god has more love for you and so i'm sitting here smiling because it's not bad it's really encouraging you know um god's given you revelation and it's going to be wiped out and yes <laughs> Stuff, stuff is going to happen. <laughs> so, my darlings, anybody else, or shall we call it good? I like the fact that <laughs> the list in the middle is longer almost than either side. And that gives me lots of discussion time, years and years and years and years to go. Yeah, and, and it's, it's my line about identity. There isn't a pan answer, there's layer after layer after layer. And really, when you look at the whole picture, um, that's all of our identity. Identity, What we do on a personal lives, what we do in self, what we do in government, what we, you know, who, who we are in every avenue, who we are in creation. Um, anyway. I think I, I got like Craig. Blue. Sorry, Lizzie, you're not done yet. I was like Lou. I was, I've been battling fear for a little bit. Your turn, Levi. I kept looking for what other people have described, very clear-cut and almost formulaic of, they say this will be here, so look for it. And I... Like taking a bunch of colors and smearing them all across a canvas and then going over the wall and then down to the floor and then out the door of the painting studio and along the crosswalk and across the, the uh, up over a car and into a taxi cab and out the other side of the taxi cab. And father kept uh, breaking the things I was looking for and uh, things I thought I would be finding. And when I tried summarizing what the trading floor in the singular was, I kept finding it was many of them, but around the end, it must have been a lot of them having to do with faith in that uh, getting in the way of creativity and him. A lot of doubt, a lot of hesitation, and a lot of thinking I know what it is before he shows it to me. And then wondering why he doesn't ever show me anything new when I'm always throwing what I already know in his face. What a lot. A lot of good times and a lot of interesting things to consider. I uh, wish I could have drawn half the illustrations I saw, would have made a book. And, and I think. As the layers lift, you, you will see things more clearly. Um, but what he's showing you is is something that's painted throughout your life and has covered everything, even though it blends with all sorts of other colors. Um, yeah, we yeah. stepped through my first love gate, and then we stepped through a different gate, and then a different gate. Then we went on an interesting adventure, and there was montage after montage after montage of, I have no idea, but he was probably saying something to me. Remember that old TV show? This is your life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, th I think this was good because um, I don't know yeah, that yeah. we, but what? It opened up possibilities. Yeah, and it and it also showed that um, we were saying it earlier that that trading isn't 
point A, point B, point C, you know, to, to, to list the negative. I said trading can be as simple as um, two drivers uh, having a moment of road rage and flipping obscene gestures at each other. That's trading. <laughs> And and they have no clue what trading floor they're standing on when they do that, but they are. And um, we we trade all the time. And and I was you know I told you also the thing about my health health issues. And it, until a week ago, it didn't these the things I'm thinking of. It didn't dawn on me that I was trading, and I am. Um, some of the reasons I have the high, the host issues I have is because I traded into them, didn't realize it, you know? So anyway, um, I think I will turn the recording off. I think this is a good, uh, starting example. Um, sometimes it's going to be like the governmental work we've done. We're, we're going to take down the de demonic and replace it with the positive. Sometimes it's going to be like mine, where the trading was uh, watering the father's garden and mowing his grass. I was, he loved me. I was given love back. Um, I think some real clear examples of different styles of trading um, was given tonight. And I, I hope this helps. And um, I will put that diagram, that spreadsheet into a PDF form and uh, mail it off to everyone. And I'd love it if you'd take notes and throw it back at me. It's the only way we'll refine it. So anyway, um, for those of you who are listening, God bless you. I hope this blesses you because that sounded funny. God bless you. I hope this blesses you. Oh, well, you know what I mean. Talk to you later.